Hey guys, this is Rags with Artificial Animation, and today I'm going to show you a quick and dirty audio tutorial of my personal method for processing my vocals to emulate that of an announcer. Now before we jump right in, I want to make sure to tell you guys that it's important that you have the proper equipment, which would be a high quality microphone, which in my case I'm using an MXL992, and you want to also have a pop filter so that you can reduce plosives in your recording. Now let's jump right in here. I'm going to be using Sony Acid here, and here I have a clip that I have recorded. Nothing too serious, just a um, quick and dirty recording. Let's see how it sounds. Hello, this is Rags, and you're watching an audio tutorial with artificial animation. Okay, not so bad, but I want to spice it up a bit to get that announcer feel and quality. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by opening a noise gate. Now, what a noise gate does is it essentially acts as the name suggests. Um, it's going to take out um, lower end sounds or things that, that you might not want in the mix, like background noise and such. It's going to gate it off. It's, not, it's only going to allow certain frequencies to pass. Um, now, as for the settings for this, I'm going to start off by setting my uh, threshold to about somewhere close to negative 60. I'm going to make my attack time 5, and the release time should be just fine. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of noise while recording this mix, but you may want to adjust accordingly depending on the space that you record in. So now that that's done, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a track compressor. Now essentially what a compressor does is, again, as the name suggests, it compresses the sound, but it allows it to be louder and fuller um, without having to do a whole lot of added work here. You just want to make sure that you have the right parameters for each of these settings. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my threshold to a negative 0.3. Um, from there I think I'm going to set again my attack to 5. I'll leave the release time alone. That should be fine. And the ratio amount, I'm going to set that to 4. And then I'm going to increase my output gain to about, mm, let's say... Three should be pretty good. Okay, now that I've done that, the sound will be noticeably louder, but it will still sound full and it will not distort. Um, uh, the awesome feature about this compressor is basically when it reaches that threshold, it'll reduce the sound so that it does not go over and distort. Um, now from there, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go right into track EQ. Now what the track EQ is going to do is it's going to allow you to morph the sound and in this case because I want to give it that announcer feel I have certain parameters in mind for this. So I'm going to start with the um, low end of this. Um, let's see, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to set my frequency here to about 250 and I'm going to bring my gain down to about negative 12. That should be pretty good. And I'm going to leave the roll off alone. Now essentially what that's going to do is it's going to kind of dampen the lower end just a little bit, but we'll make up for it here. Um, and then I'm going to go to my highs and make an adjustment there. Uh, I'm going to leave the frequency alone at, at 5k. Um, as for my gain, I'm going to bring this down to a negative 2.5 should be pretty good. And again, leaving the roll off alone. Now, the last thing that I will do here is I will add a de -esser. Now, a de is like everything else that I've been saying, as the name suggests. Um, basically, if you have hissing sounds between speaking or whatnot, it's meant to reduce such things. Um, I'm going to keep it very simple here. I'm going to knock the frequency threshold here to about 5K. That should be pretty good. And I'm going to set my threshold to about... Mm, let's say close to negative 12. That should be good. And let's play it back and see how it sounds. Hello, this is Rags, and you're watching an audio tutorial with artificial animation. So there's a definitely a noticeable difference there. I'll play it back without the effects. So with these effects, it spices everything up a bit, but it doesn't go too overboard. Uh, these are pretty much the settings that I personally like to use with my recordings uh, for tutorials and things of that nature. But you can uh, go above and beyond with this. You can experiment with different EQs. You can make your adjustments. You can use uh, other effects such as reverb, a chorus perhaps. It's just all about experimenting and finding exactly uh, 
your sound for this sort of thing. But these are pretty much the parameters that I go by, and hopefully they can give you kind of a preset to follow. But uh, I'm going to drop it off right there, guys, and hopefully this tutorial has helped you out, and happy recording.